Warming up is such an important part of every run and crucial for optimizing performance and preventing injury. Or is it? And if so, what is the optimal way of warming up? Let's start with when you need to warm up, because although you will find plenty of articles and YouTube videos claiming that you need to warm up before every run with these stretches and exercises, and if you don't you will probably get injured, there is really no evidence supporting those kinds of claims when it comes to going out for an easy run. So if you're going for a slow run, you can just start off with uh, going easy. And if you're new to running, so just running is uh, tough, then I would recommend starting off with a five minute walk before you ease into running to get your heart rate up a bit and get your body warm. But if you're running a race or doing a tougher workout like running intervals, then you might want to consider doing a more proper warm up. Before I dig into what the evidence says about warming up, that actually shocked me a bit when I was uh, reading it. I thought I would share my current warm up routine before harder workouts and races. That is really simple to do and I feel puts me in a good spot to run fast. I start off with just running easy for 10 to 30 minutes, for most workouts around 10 minutes. But for shorter races where I need to start super hard, I'm closer to those 30 minutes. During this easy run I slowly increase the pace and when I'm done with that I do one interval at the race pace for about one minute. And then I do just a couple of drills, usually just the high knees and the heel kicks for about 20 seconds times 4. After that I finish off my warm up with doing 2-3 to three strides where I run hard for about 30 seconds to start recruiting all of those muscle fibers and get my heart rate up a bit. After a short rest I'm ready to start my workout or race. I've been doing this warm up routine for years and I feel that it has been working uh, very good. But uh, before I made this video I had actually read very little evidence on this topic. And when I started doing research, as I said, I was actually a bit uh, shocked. The first relevant study I found on this topic when I started doing research was uh, this one done at the University of Madrid where they compared two different uh, warm-up uh, protocols before a 20 minute all-out cycling time trial. So not running but doing a cycling test like that should be pretty relevant for a 5k running race since its physiological demands are pretty similar. The first warm-up protocol that the cyclist got uh, tested on was just easy cycling for 10 minutes at 60% of max effort. The other warm-up they did was 5 minutes at uh, also here 60% of max effort, but then it was followed by 3 all-out 10 second sprints. In the study they found no performance uh, difference with the two warm-ups. But what's even more interesting is that they did a third way of warming up. Which basically was no warm up at all, just sitting still before the test. And also here they found no difference in performance compared to the two different ways of warming up. And this is what shocked me a bit because my gut feeling would say that uh, the ones that didn't warm up at all before a race like that performed way worse. But uh, this wasn't the case at least in this uh, study. Here you can see a graph. So most participants performed very similar with the three different uh, warm up. Some performed better with warm up and some actually performed better with no warm up uh, at all. It was also really interesting to look at this uh, power graph of how hard the cyclist cycled after the different warm ups, where you can clearly see that after doing the warm up with three all out sprints, they seem to cycle a lot harder in the beginning, but then later have to pay uh, for that, so the end result is the same. So perhaps if your race or training requires you to start off really hard right from the gun, doing sprints like that is important. As I said, reading this uh, surprised me quite a bit. But this is just one study and you should never draw too big conclusions from just one single study. And it's done on cyclists so it might not be 100% relevant for runners. There has actually been done quite a lot of research on this topic. I found this, uh, this review here that included over 170 studies and many of them 
found a performance boost from warming up. But most of the evidence is showing that warming up boosts performance for sprint and power sports and not for endurance sports like uh, long distance running. I also looked at a study done in 2017 that looked at an easy run as a warm up before a 30 minute running time trial and compared it to not warming up at all. They found no significant difference here either, but they found a tendency that the participants performed slightly better with the warm up compared to no warm up at all. Running on average 7.8 kilometers compared to an average of 7.7 kilometers with no warm up. So the evidence supporting warm ups performance boosting effects are not that strong. The positive thing with this is that you don't have to stress if you don't have that much time to warm up before a race or a workout. But all elite runners seem to do some kind of warm up and I think there are some good reasons why you might consider warming up. First of all I think it feels good to start off easy and not go all out from the start. And if the training is more enjoyable as a whole the likelihood of you doing more of it gets uh, higher. The easy running you do during the warm up isn't wasted training either. If you warm up before every workout that adds up and becomes quite much time running over months or years. And if it's one thing we know is that higher training volume corresponds with becoming a faster and better runner over time. The last reason to why I like doing warm ups before harder workouts and especially before races is to get my head in the right mindset and use the warm up time to think through the workout or race so I feel mentally ready to start pushing hard right from the start. After my research and uh, reading all of this I think this is one of those cases where you will not find evidence proving that this special super quadruple warm up routine is optimal for everyone and will make you run faster and with no injuries even though you will find plenty of articles and youtube videos claiming that they have the perfect warm up routine to run fast and injury free which i can i can understand is appealing to people because sometimes it's a bit frustrating that you don't get clear answers on things like this but as a coach, physio and athlete myself, I also think that is what makes it fun and interesting because our bodies are so complex and we're all uh, different and we need to try things out, hear what others do and together with the evidence that's been done in the area, draw conclusions of what you believe in. But what about stretches before you run? Here you can find a video where I talk all about that Train smart, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.